tensions are mounting. This is Letty, by the way. Hello. So we are on our way to Enchanted Rock. We are almost there. Of course, we don't have reservations because who makes reservations? We are spur of the moment, moment kind of people. So we are waiting to see if we're getting in. Maybe. Dun, Maybe dun, not. dun. We have discovered that um, we won't be enchanting today. today. Damn it. <laughs> so no enchanted rock. So quick, take a quick peek. This is all you're gonna see. Oh well. On to other things. What are we gonna do? So Fredericksburg is a cute, awesome small town to walk around in and check out. So we'll walk around Fredericksburg a little bit. Letty is a member of a wine club up here. So we will go pick up her wine from her wine club. Yay! Maybe do a wine tasting. Who knows what the day will bring. We get a free um, tasting and we can open up a bottle because we've already purchased it, so. So there you go. Of course, Phil's first thing is to find food. I don't know how that always happens. Luckily, there's no ice cream around. Oh, Actually, we I'm can just totally looking for a coffee. find ice cream. I just want a coffee. All right, you heard him. He said coffee, so hey, when, maybe when I show you he's maybe eating, you'll know he's lying. Maybe a baked <laughs> good. <laughs> This is a good day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old ones gone All right, so we're walking around and we spotted these moms. They're Aggie moms and as you can see, I'm an Aggie mom. We had to stop and contribute. They're raising money for scholarships. So of course we have to stop. And those are always needed. Banana bread. This is one serving size. Or a field serving size. And I can feel the sun on my skin. in Fredericksburg and we saw this really cool sign with this really cool old building so we thought we would pop in. And the sign was the only cool thing about it. <laughs> no, the building was cool. Well, the, yeah, building the building was cool. Was. I went into the bathroom. The bathroom was the cool. The bathroom was cool. But when we got inside, oh my, I, I didn't get it. Honestly, I did not get it. No. So if you get it, Magnolia Pearl, please share with us what are we missing? There's, the dogs were cute. Oh man, the dogs were beautiful, but I, I don't know. I don't get it. I know what they were missing, our money, because they didn't get it. <laughs> Even though we weren't able to hike Enchanted Rock this time, we still had a great time hanging out with our friends, Jason and Letty, and taking a tour of Fredericksburg. It is a wonderful city. If you're going to Texas, come on, guess. If you're going to Texas, Fredericksburg has to be on your list. It is a town with German roots, and it has some awesome German restaurants. It has wineries and breweries all through it. They have live music and if you're a history buff you'll love going and exploring the Pacific War Museum. It's really cool and it's surrounded by state parks and national parks. Now quite a few of these state parks we actually visited when we were doing some of our shakedown trips. There's just so much to do up there from hiking, biking, there's a ton of water activities to do. It is a great place. Fredericksburg is only about 70 miles north of San Antonio. So if you're in San Antonio spending some time, it would be a wonderful day trip. 
Now, if you head up there, you have to take a little side trip. Luckenbach, Texas is only about 10 minutes from Fredericksburg, and there's a really cool joint there that you'll have to check out. Willie Nelson, I'm told, frequents it because, you know, that is his little spot. We took that trip to Fredericksburg back in February before the lockdown happened, so it was a lot of fun, and we can't wait to go back up there again. The next time we go, we are planning to harvest host up there. There are several wineries and breweries that are harvest hosts, and we had a great time when we kind of hopped from harvest host to harvest host when we were in Maine last summer, and we plan to do that again up in Fredericksburg. It's a great little town. you got to check it out. This video is obviously a little shorter than most of our other videos, so I thought I would fill in the gap a little bit and answer some of the questions that you guys have been asking repeatedly. Some of the questions we get over and over, so let's take the time and clear the air. So the first thing we're going to talk about is how Phil's doing. So let's pop over to Phil and see how he's hanging in there. Uh, I've officially made it to an update. <laughs> so Phil's officially post-op day six. Yeah, and so far so good. Every day is getting a little bit better, but um, the pain is, everybody warned me, you guys all warned me, the pain was gonna be something, and it is. Um, so I'm, I'm doing well. Uh, I appreciate all the well wishes. I hate the meds that I'm on, the pain meds. They just really, really make me tired. And I feel like a newborn baby. All I do is sleep all day. So hanging in there, Stacy is, She's doing everything, and I mean everything, to include she drove the rig. Um, Shh, don't tell the secret. That's in yeah. an upcoming video. Oh, sorry, sorry. By myself with while Phil was in the OR, but that's coming later. Yeah. All right, so there you go. There's his update. I have not locked him in the casita <laughs> yet, so he's been a very good patient, so we'll, we'll let him go. <laughs> yeah. He'll be slurring his words if he stays anyway. Yeah. All those good drugs. The next few questions actually come from last week's video. The first question is, why don't you just mount the Wii Boost to the roof so you don't have to climb up there every time you move? Well, originally we didn't want to mount it because we were really worried about punching a hole in the roof. And then when we installed the solar, Phil was supposed to drop the cable down through the opening that he made and he forgot. So that opening is now sealed up. So we have to decide how we are going to attach it and when we're going to attach it. But for now, we don't need it everywhere we go. So for now, we're just going to put it up when we need it, and when we don't, we'll leave it inside. The next question we got is, have you ever locked yourself out of your rig, and if so, what did you do? Thankfully, we have not locked ourselves out of the rig, but if you do lock yourself out, you do have a couple of options. One, you can climb in through a unlocked window. You can actually pull a window pane out and climb in that way, and that is difficult to do and not bust your window. Or you can call a locksmith. But if you're out in the middle of nowhere, a locksmith may not be an option for you. For us, what we've done is we actually purchased a combo lock off Amazon. It's just one with a four digit combo and we put a key in that and it's connected somewhere on our rig on our frame. So that way, if we ever lock ourselves out, we always have that as a backup and we can get back in. Next up is the big one and that's propane. So there was a big discussion about it last week. And so what do you do? Do you turn your propane off every time you drive or do you leave it on? I don't know why we didn't mention gas stop last week, but it's a great option for those who leave their propane on. Now I know everybody has a regulator, but this actually attacks directly to your tank. So that hose where the damage can happen that goes from the tank to the regulator, then you don't have to worry about that being damaged. And it has happened and we've had people comment and talk about you know their propane issue whether it just came undone or an accident so if you want more info about gas stop I'll put a link down below to a previous video and if you're interested in gas stop they are on sale this weekend so you can pick them up for 10% off for one or 15% off for two. So I'll leave that link down below for you too. Another big question has to do with our bikes and our setup for our bikes. Now on the back of our rig are our mountain bikes. Even though we bought our electric bikes, our e-bikes, which are by electric, um, we still want to keep our mountain bikes because we will use them in different places and different opportunities and stuff. So for our mountain bikes, the setup includes two receivers and the top receiver, which is for the mountain bikes, is on a 10 inch riser. And that allows us to carry the bikes without them bumping into the car or the rig. Although Phil did have an extension on there originally, but the bikes actually came out too far and when we turned corners, it was rubbing on the front of the Jeep. 
So for us, this is a perfect fit and allows us to have all four bikes. If you're looking for something like this and you need some ideas, I'll put the link for our riser down below just so you can get an idea of weights and sizes because there's plenty out there to choose from. Oh, by the way, this riser is the same one that can be used for a drop, so it flips. If you need to go lower for your tow vehicle, it works for that as well. And don't forget, our t-shirts are still on sale now through the 31st of May. And once we close it out in May, that's it. They're gone. You will not have another opportunity to purchase it. So the great thing about these shirts are we are using it to collect money for our new military charity, Homes for Our Troops. A dollar for every t-shirt sold and our entire tip jar will be going to Homes for Our Troops. They are an amazing organization. You guys should really check them out what all the good things that they're doing. And also, if you would like to donate directly to them without buying a t-shirt, we would love that as well. I'll put a direct link for that down below too. So thank you again to everyone who's already purchased. It's going to do great things for our veterans. If you have some burning questions, drop it down in the comments below. We're going to pick a few and add them to next week's video. We get a lot of the same questions over and over, so this way everybody will have the answer all at once. Thanks guys for hanging out with us today. Speaking of us, look who I just found. <laughs> he snuck out of the rig for a little bit. He's got a little gap in his meds, so he's not completely zooted. No, I wanted some fresh air, so I had to come catch the production in process. <laughs> so thanks again for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give us a good thumbs up. <laughs> Are you trying to punch me here? What's happening? Give us a good thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the notification bell right over here. While you're clicking those buttons, make sure you go on down and click the link to our website and check out all the great blog articles that we have on there. A lot of info never makes it into our videos. And while you're there, make sure you join us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, or our village. It's a great way to connect with our community. Couldn't have said it any better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thanks a lot. Hopefully soon we'll see you on, on the, the road. road.